Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Are you worried about sagging skin, wrinkles and fine lines? Do you find yourself with a lot of pigmentation on the skin? Now guess what? Today, in this video, I have a wonderful treat for you. The reason I call it a treat is because it's going to take care of all of that. I personally call this my natural Botox. This is going to lift the skin, it's going to tighten your skin, and it's going to have your skin really plump. But guess what? Here comes the bonus. It's going to get rid of all that hyperpigmentation on the skin and it's also gonna give you a clear bright glowing skin now you want to look radiant you're going somewhere you have a wedding to go to you have a class reunion the holidays are here you want to look your best guess what come with me to the kitchen and i'll show you how to whip this up in just minutes our first ingredient is lemon and this little lemon is loaded with vitamin C. Now what does vitamin C does to the skin? Vitamin C helps to lighten the skin, it helps to get rid of all the dirt from the skin, it helps to have your skin looking younger and supple and if you have oily skin, lemon is also great for your skin type. Our next ingredient is potato and potato is known to get rid of hyperpigmentation from the skin. Potato is going to remove all those dark spots and blemishes. Potato is going to get rid of your old scars and not only that, potato is going to help to give you a even skin tone. Our final ingredient is the cucumber and the cucumber is a wonderful ingredient for the skin. It's a wonderful estrogen. The cucumber is going to help to get rid of the the wrinkles and fine lines. Now cucumber is also great for cooling the skin. It has estrogen properties. It also is great for shrinking those pores. Cucumber is basically a wonderful refreshing ingredient to use on your skin for glowing skin. Now for this recipe you're also gonna need a grater and a strainer. You're also going to need a mask sheet and if you do not have a mask sheet, try making one out of a paper towel. It's pretty quick and it's pretty easy to make. And you're also going to need a jar for storing. So now that we have the three ingredients together for our facial mask, what I'm going to do, I'm first going to prepare my potato. Now to prepare the potato, the first thing you're going to do, you're going to wash the potato, peel the potato. Now after peeling the potato, I am going to grate the potato. And here is your grated potato. So we're just gonna fill our strainer with the grated potato. And we're just gonna squeeze. We're trying to extract the juice from the grated potato. And here is the potato juice. Next, we're moving on to our cucumber. And I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna cut the cucumber and I'm using about a half of a medium cucumber. Next, I'm gonna wash the cucumber and I'm gonna grate the cucumber. Next, I'm gonna strain the cucumber. Make sure to get everything out and I'm just gonna use my hands and I'm gonna strain. And here we have our cucumber juice. Now here we have our cucumber juice and we also have our potato juice and our lemon. And now I'm going to put these three together. Now a wonderful thing about this recipe is that you can make this and you can store it in your refrigerator for about 10 days. So just make enough to last you since you're going to be using this at least two to three times per week to begin with. So I'm going to use about a quarter cup of cucumber juice, basically pouring everything I have in. 
And the same thing for the potato juice, about a quarter cup. Make sure to stir the potato juice to get rid of the starch from the bottom. And now I'm gonna pour this in our cucumber juice. Next, I'm gonna reach for my lemon, and I'm using the entire medium lemon in this. So I'm just gonna cut open my lemon, and I'm gonna squeeze it directly in the potato and cucumber juice. So I'm just gonna squeeze, we're getting about three tablespoons at least from this lemon. So about three tablespoons of lemon juice. Now that we have everything in, we're just gonna give this a stir. Now if you have rose water, you could choose to put a little in this. And now this is ready. And I'm just gonna pour this in my container for storing. And like I said, you can store this in your refrigerator for about 10 days. And here it is. Here is your complete facial mask. This facial mask is gonna lighten and brighten your skin. It's gonna get rid of your wrinkles and fine lines. It's gonna close your pores. It is also gonna have your skin bright, glowing, and supple. Now, to use this facial mask, you're not gonna dip anything in. You're gonna take your facial mask sheet, fold it nicely, and I'm gonna put it in a separate container. Next, I'm gonna take about, maybe about three to four tablespoons, and I'm just gonna pour it on the facial mask. That way you don't contaminate this. Now, when you have that, you just close this, and you put it back in the refrigerator for the week. Now here is your facial mask and you're gonna completely saturate that mask sheet with your facial treatment. So now I'm gonna show you how to use this wonderful facial mask. So come with me and I'll show you how to apply this to your skin. You're gonna cleanse your face the way you normally do and then you're gonna apply your mask sheet. So make sure not to put any form of a moisturizer or any serum on the skin before. Just clean, fresh skin. So you're gonna take your mask sheet, squeeze it out a bit. And you're gonna open it like this, place it over your face. Make sure to press it on and it's very cold. I keep mine in the fridge to activate the potato juice. Okay, so once you put it on like this, press it on under the eyes. Now once you apply your facial mask, you're gonna leave it on your skin for at least 30 minutes. Now you wanna wear this facial mask at least two to three times per week for best result. Now after 30 minutes, you wanna remove your facial mask. And after removing the facial mask, you're gonna rinse off with some cold water. Then you're gonna apply your favorite facial serum. Now, use the mask at least two to three times per week for best result and store the leftover in your refrigerator. And like I said before, you could store it for about seven to 10 days, okay? So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up and share the video, spread it around. And if this was the first time watching, I'm sure you wanna see more of these videos, right? Look below, you're gonna see the word subscribe. Just click on it and you will be subscribed. Do you wanna know exactly when I post a video? Look at the side, beside the word subscribe, there's a little bell. Click on that and you will get a notification as soon as I upload a video. So thank you all for watching and and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.